What is up my fluffy buns? Today I'm going to talk about how I confronted my first crush. I did talk a little bit about him, my depression story, which I'm going to link that right up here. All started when my junior in high school, I was like waiting at the orange bench, waiting for my dad to pick me up. A group of cross country boys run past me when there's this one person that kept my eye. He looked straight at me and then he waved at me and then I look at him and say, oh, hey, like so awkwardly. Oh my gosh, he's the love of my life. Well, not really. I didn't say that when I think in my head. But when I came home, I knew he was like in my English class. Oh, suddenly I kind of sort of stalk him. It is the first time, well, not the first time. I did have a lot of celebrity crushes when I was a little kid. Kind of like sort of stalk him. And then I went to like Google chat and then say, oh, Hey, are you the kid from English class? And then he said, yeah, he's a foreign exchange student and he's Thai. I was supposed to be studying for my American History 1 class. He kept on talking to me. I got distracted, so I kept on talking on him. Tried to meet up. I tried to approach him and I asked him, hey, my name is Traman Bowie. Nice to meet you. And I shake his hand. Let's call him Mr. Butcher. I'll explain why he's been called Mr. Butcher. I asked him to, if we can sit lunch together, and then he looks like he's about to refuse me to sit lunch with him. I beg him to sit lunch with him. And then we sat lunch, we talk, and then it was awkward because he called me awkward, and I felt a little bit hurtful, but it was true. It was awkward. We decided not to talk anymore. I tried to approach him, and then I said, you should smile more often. And then he gave me that smile again, and I said, oh my gosh, he's doing that again. What is he doing? Memorizing me? I tried to Google chat him back, but he never answered. And then I tried to approach him saying like, if you want to hang out sometime, but he said, well, he refused to know. Because like then what I saw was he was like talking to a girl named Alicia. I was, I was like sitting over there like, I'm so jealous. Why he's talking to her instead of me? And then like, you know, they decided to hang out together and then like, I felt so sad because it wasn't me hanging out with him. Then we didn't talk for like, like a few months and then I approached him back again because like, I'm a wussy. Yes, I'm a wussy. This last time during Christmas, I wrote a confession letter. I want to give him my stuffed animal clucky. He was so precious to me because me and my grandparents from Vietnam we went to a Korean chicken restaurant in Vietnam and they gave me this chicken and I decided to call him Clucky. I want to give it to him because I want him to take care of it. It meant so much to me. And then the confession letter and the chocolate too. Oh, I forgot about the chocolate. I gave him a lot of stuff. He accepted it. And then when I realized, when I tried to like stalk him on Facebook, I tried to like text and call him and then he never answered. But then he did answer and then he blocked me on social media. And I was sad and hurtful. I have been hurt by him a couple of times where I cried. I don't want to like know I was crying for him because it would think me as a fool. It was like texting my cousin, Claire. So she told me eventually that he took advantage of me. I felt so ashamed, so hurtful that I felt like I took it back. I thought he was like my Domin June, which you guys don't know. It's a My Love for Another Star K-drama. He's like another alien from another world. That's why I assume he's Domin June. Like I saw him like a couple of times. I don't say bump into each other like he's my destiny or something. But I thought he was my Domin June, but he was not. He was Mr. Butcher, which is why I call him Mr. Butcher. Uh, that was like the one move of my first crush. I wouldn't say he was like my first love. Like, I don't have a first love, to be honest. There's like no other guy that wants to like date me or like be friends with me or anything. Like, there's a reason why. I have autism. I have hard time talking to boys. You get the deal. Yeah, sucks. But maybe I might find my own domain June someday. I don't know. But... Who knows? So there's one thing I forgot is that I had many dreams of him. I remember I dreamt him. He was holding my hand. He was hugging me or kissing me. I don't know. It sounds kind of strange, but I don't know what it meant. But he didn't love me in real life. The most strangest thing is that during for my spring junior year, I met another Thai guy too. And then for my senior year, I met another Thai guy in third period. All in third period, which is like weird, like conspiracy theory, you know? I even watched this one video that a Japanese father was like destroying the Japanese boy's game. That guy looks like one of my ex-crushes. That guy is blonde. My ex-crush, his hair is black, but like they both wear the same glasses, just that 
the hair is the difference. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.